Howdy, this is Edward from Valarm. Do you, your teams, or your organization need to remotely monitor water resources or other fluids? In this video, you'll learn how to use tools.valarm.net with remote water monitoring systems. You'll see how to monitor flow meters made by any sensor hardware manufacturer, like micrometer or EKM metering. You're seeing micrometer magnetic flow meters in this example, specifically the McMag 3000. Our customers also like to use mechanical flow meters since they don't require a battery and therefore can be more reliable. Fortunately, you can use just about any flow meter with tools.valarm.net, so don't hesitate to talk to me if you've got any questions on what will be best for your environment. The key components in this water monitoring system are the PWM sensor adapter for counting pulses, ticks, or spins of a flow meter, a Verizon CDMA 4G LTE router, a flow meter, a solar charge controller connected to a battery and a solar panel, and a sensor hub for sending all that sensor information to tools.valarm.net. Sensor hubs upload industrial IoT sensor information via any connectivity, like Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or mobile cell network. We'll need to connect your flow meters to PWM sensor adapters so we can get water usage readings. You see, there's a micrometer pulse output cable that will attach to your PWM sensor adapters. Note this flow meter is set to output a pulse or tick for every 10 gallons that flow by. Make sure you double check with your sensor manufacturer to know what they've configured your pulses for. With the McMag 3000, there are yellow and gray cable leads. You'll connect your yellow lead to the ground connector on your PWM. And you'll connect the gray wire to the middle connector channel input slot, the one that has the PWM sensor input icon. You'll also need to use a wire to jump the PU or pull-up channel and the PWM sensor input channel. Once you've got your PWM sensor adapter connected to your flow meter, use Yoctopus's virtual hub software to set the PWM output type to edge count. Then, after your sensor hub, is sending PWM flow meter pulse counts to tools.valarm.net, you can configure totalizers to monitor total water usage. Your totalizers keep track of a running total for each of your flow meters. That's the quick and easy overview of connecting your flow meters to tools.valarm.net. Now you're remotely monitoring water. Have a look at our blog and other videos for more on configuring alerts, warnings, analytics, predictions, pressure transducers, level sensors, and managing your organization's water resources. Tools.valarm.net is an open platform, so you can deploy sensors made by any manufacturer for monitoring water, air, vehicles, equipment, tanks, and anything else. For example, you're seeing a variety of sensor brands combined to make these water monitoring dashboards. We're happy to work with you to create custom web dashboards like you're seeing here that help you with your water resources management. That's all for now. You got any questions? Please don't hesitate to contact me at info at .net if you've got any questions. And thank you for watching.